One of the most common fears patients have when they're considering IVF is this. Will IVF increase my risk of cancer? Specifically, women worry about ovarian cancer and breast cancer because IVF involves hormone injections. This anxiety is understandable, but it's based on a myth, not science. Let's get this straight right at the start. There is no scientific evidence that IVF treatment increases the risk of cancer. So where does this fear come from? IVF uses hormones to stimulate the ovaries to produce more eggs than usual. Because cancer is sometimes linked to hormones, patients assume that more hormones must mean more cancer risk. Add to this a few anecdotal stories, someone who did IVF and later developed cancer, and suddenly a false narrative is born. But correlation is not causation. Medicine doesn't work on WhatsApp logic. The hormones used in IVF are not foreign or dangerous chemicals. They are either identical to or very close copies of hormones your body already produces naturally, like FSH and LH. Every month, your ovaries respond to these same hormones during a normal menstrual cycle. IVF simply amplifies a natural process for a short period of time. And that's the key phrase, short period of time. IVF hormones are used only for a few days during one treatment cycle. Once the cycle is over, hormone levels fall back to normal. These drugs do not stay in your body. They are metabolized and excreted, mostly in urine. There is no permanent hormonal alteration no long-term overstimulation and no lingering effect years later. This is very different from long-term hormone replacement therapy, which works in a completely different way. Now let's talk about evidence, not opinions. Large, well-designed studies involving tens of thousands of women across multiple countries have looked at cancer risk after IVF. These studies consistently show no increase in ovarian cancer, breast cancer or uterine cancer in women who underwent IVF compared to those who didn't. Even more convincing are meta-analyses, studies that analyze data from many studies combined. These provide the strongest level of medical evidence and they all reach the same conclusion. IVF does not increase cancer risk. There is also basic biological common sense here. IVF has been used for over four decades. Millions of women worldwide have undergone IVF. If IVF hormones caused cancer, we would have seen a dramatic spike in cancer rates by now. We haven't. The data simply doesn't support the fear. So what about those scary anecdotes? Someone does IVF and years later develops cancer. That's tragic. But it doesn't mean IVF caused it. Cancer has many risk factors. Genetics, age, lifestyle, environment. IVF is not one of them. Medicine runs on evidence, not coincidence. The bottom line is simple. IVF uses natural hormones for a short duration with no long-term hormonal changes. And decades of high-quality research confirm its safety. If you are anxious, confused or overwhelmed by conflicting advice, don't rely on myths or marketing. Get clarity from science. If you've had IVF failures or you're worried about risks, I've created an IVF chatbot to help you think clearly. You can upload your medical records, ask the right questions and get unbiased, evidence-based answers anytime, privately and safely. The right information doesn't just reduce anxiety, it gives you control.